in this video I'm going to show you how to create the shaking effect in Jetpack Compose and let me just show you that click on check me as you can see we have this nice shaking effect and this is very customizable so let me show you that let's say you want to basically make this stronger so we can just go here we can say strength equals to shaking state dot strength dot uh, let's say strong we can also pass custom values but let's say that click on shake me as you can see it got stronger we can also play with the animation uh, duration so we pass here 200 for example and we can also play with the directions so we can say here direction shaking state dot direction we have left right left then right and right then left let's for example pass uh left then right let's see that click here so as you can see this is how it looks like but of course but we maybe just need to make this like uh, 40 and this will look even better so let's see that click here so as you can see and we do all of that by just applying this shakeable modifier that we will be creating in this video before we get started if you just want to use this in your project you can go to my github repository copy and paste the code and you're good to go you can use that but if you want to learn how to create this from scratch then this video is for you and let's get it started so create your empty compose project and we just need to create a new class here or a new file so let's go here and let's create a new file or class and we call this shaking state so we want to create the shaking state and here for this state we firstly need to pass the strength and the direction and for that we're going to create two subclasses inside here so this the first one will be for the strength there's going to be a sealed class we call this strength and we add the value that is going to be a float then you create the different strengths you want so i'll just create three one for normal and let's make this an object actually then we extend from strength and let's pass 17f let's duplicate that make this strong and we pass 40f then we create a custom one that be a data class make this custom and we pass the value for this one strength which is a float then we pass that value in here so let's just correct this and then we want to create the directions that is going to be an enum class called directions and the directions are left right left then right and right then left okay now we can pass these two in here strength of type strength and directions of type directions okay so how the shaking effect will work the main idea behind this shaking effect is that you play with the x position of your composable so the default x position for any composable is zero and to create shaking you basically can just move this x position to a negative value that would be to the left then return it to the origin move it to the left again return it to the origin do it this many times will give you the shaking effect let's see how to implement that firstly we need the shaking effect to be smooth for that we need some kind of animation and we can just create an animatable object to animate the x position so we can say x position equals to animatable and we pass 0f now uh, we want to create a suspend function called shake and that is going to receive the animation duration which is going to be an integer we give that a default value of 50 now in here we're going to define the animation spec so to define just uh, the how the animation looks like and that is going to be a tween so let's say shake animation if you're new to jetpack compose animation i've covered everything about that in another video i suggest you to watch that but that is not the topic of this video so let's keep just creating this one here so shake animation that is going to be of type animation spec of float and we just create a simple tween here we pass the duration then here regarding to our directions we want to trigger the appropriate shaking effect so we can say when direction is of type left 
or let's say directions dot left then let's start from left we will basically call shake to left and we send the shake animation spec also here let's call spec and we send that let's create that function and this is going to be a suspend function then let's duplicate that four times uh one for right shake to right create another suspend function for that and here we can say left then right so shake to left then right and suspend function finally right then left so shake to right then left suspend function okay let's start with a simple one which is shake to left to implement shake to left we need to move the x position to a negative value and let's do that to a negative value then get back to the origin move it again to the negative value do this like three or four times you will get the shaking effect so let's do that we can say x position dot animate to then we can say minus strength value and the uh, shaking and the animation spec we pass that in here so now we want to return it to the origin so zero f now we want to repeat this like three times and we will get the shake effect so we will just trap this with a repeat block three times and here you go now we implemented check to left now we can copy this to implement check to right but we need to make this to the positive value not to the negative one then we need to implement shake to right then left or shake to left then right so i'll just paste that and now we want to go left so that's correct we want to restore that then we want to go right so we just can copy these two from the right like that and then we can just implement shake to right then left paste this but we're gonna start from the positive x then we go to the negative x but when i tested that it didn't look that good so i just need to divide this by two and here as well and that's it for our state now we need to create a function to remember the state inside a composable function so we can say composable remember shaking state delete this modifier and we can delay or we can just return shaking state object and we can say return remember shaking state and now we want to pass the strength and we want to pass uh, the direction then we pass them in here as well strength and direction okay that's it for our state now we want to create the actual shaking effect and the best way to make this reusable is by just creating it with a modifier so we can say modifier dot shakeable and we need to pass the state here shaking state then we can return this modifier we can call return graphics layer and we can say translation x that's how we change the x value for our composable then we get that from state position value this will be animated like that and that's it now you can just use it on any composable let's create the one you saw in the demo which is a text button but let's just create a box to center everything in the middle content alignment center and let's create a text button here let's also have a scope or first let's get the shaking state equals remember shaking state um okay let's just actually pass default values here because typically states has default values so let's just pass normal for this one and let's pass a left for this one now we can just get rid of this and let's also get a scope to launch our shaking uh, function when we click on that we simply say scope dot launch shaking state dot shake uh shake p uh, i think yeah let's just call it shake let's refactor the name here and make this shake let's format this a little bit and inside here we can basically yeah create a text say shake me 
and then font size let's pass like 22 sp okay we have not applied the modifier yet so let's do it modifier equals to modifier dot shakeable and we pass the shaking state let's try this out here's the app and let's click on shake me boom here you go here's a nice shaking animation um as i said you can actually customize this the way you like strength let's just pass a custom one shaking state dot strength dot custom let's pass the value of um yeah let's say 60f this will make it go crazy i think let's see shake you can play with the directions directions shaking state dot directions dot let's try right then left and let's also change the animation duration here make this like 30. let's run this click here so as you can see here's the shaking effect okay if you think this video was helpful then make sure to like and subscribe to my channel you can also join my discord community you can ask me questions you can answer other people's question and yeah that's it see you in another video